Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim, and today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about mounting those Tetrix DC motors. Um, there are some things that can impact how they work on your robot. Uh, some people probably already know about them, but I wanna make sure everybody does, just so it kinda helps you work through some of the things in your planning of, of robots and how that they go together. Now let's start by looking at the motor itself. And one of the unique characteristics of the, the Tetrix 12 volt DC motor is the fact that the output shaft is offset. It's not in the center of the motor. And what that really allows us to do is have a, a little bit of flexibility in our mounting and how that impacts uh, things like the height of our drive uh, in relationship wheel to wheel, how it interfaces with the gears, how it interfaces with things like chain and sprockets and those kind of things. So let's look at that just a little bit closer and you can see that I've got just a basic piece of channel mounted up here with two motors. And I've got two small gears on here, hopefully so that you'll see this a little better. We could put wheels on there, we could put sprocket, we could put larger things, but I wanted you to be able to see the, um, the actual, the motor behind the, the object in front. So. As you look at that, when you think about that shaft being offset, when I mount it in my mount, what that means is before I tighten the mount down, I can rotate that motor. And as you see this, I'm gonna leave this stationary. As you see, as I move this one around, it moves in an actually elliptical motion and this gear will change in height, not only in height, but also position left to right. So uh, you can see I can rotate that all the way around 360 degrees and you saw how that it actually moved in relationship to this one that's stationary. Now, if you think about two wheels, if I've got those wheels mounted on either side, if I don't have those in the same position, um, my wheels are gonna be different heights. So you need to be aware of that. Or front to back, you need to be aware of that because that can make your robot either not set with all of the wheels on the ground at the same time, or it can set at an angle. So this is, becomes important in the position of that shaft in relationship to the other uh, devices mounted on your robot. One of the, an example of that is if I put a gear, um, this will show you kind of right here on this channel, I'll slip that in real quick. And you can see that as I rotate this motor around, that allows me to mesh the motor with the gear in the right perspective. I don't want it too tight, but I want it to make sure that I've got good engagement. So that's one of the advantages of being able to rotate that motor. Another example of that would be chain. If I needed to get a little bit of slack out of my chain, I could rotate my motor and actually tighten or loosen the chain uh, when it comes to uh, mounting that on our devices. So that's one of the things that we need to be aware of and take advantage of in our builds when you're working with the Tetrix motor. So hope you found that beneficial. Hope that inspires you to actually apply that a little bit in your robots. So remember, have fun out there, build some good robots, come back and see us.